Hey Dolph fans, head strength and conditioning coach Dave Paloka here. On today's Dolphins Daily, I'll tell you how the guys have been able to train while out here in California, and we'll highlight week 11 youth programs award winners recognized by Rise. Hey, keep fighting, keep fighting. Hey fans, only two days until it's time for another Miami Dolphins game day. The team will look to improve their record to six and four as they take on the LA Rams at the Los Angeles Memorial Coliseum. This will be the Dolphins' first time in 28 years playing there. Kickoff is set for 405. Leading up to both games out here on the West Coast, it was important to make sure the guys had the chance to prepare the same way we would back home in South Florida. We were fortunate enough to work out at a training facility provided by our good friends at Exos. The facility here at Exos in Carlsbad is tremendous. The staff is professional. I want to thank Roy and Brent especially for their help. A lot of our players were familiar with them and their staff because they trained here for the combine. We got a chance to do some cross-education with our staff and theirs. So the transition was really easy, and I want to thank them for helping uh, contribute to our success this week. We would now like to recognize our Week 11 Youth Programs Award winners recognized by the Ross Initiative in Sports for Equality. The Youth Player of the Week goes to Jamari Watson from the Pembroke Pines Optimus Bengals 10U of the American Youth Football League. Our team mom goes to Joanna Deuce from the East Miramar Dolphins 8U of the National Youth Football League. Our High School Coach of the Week goes to Napoleon Joseph from Miami Edison Senior High School. The High School Player of the Week goes to Sean Rivers from Chaminade Madonna High School. Congrats to each winner this week for demonstrating their leadership on and off the field. That's all I have for you guys today. Enjoy the game, and we'll see you back in Davie on Monday.